Have you ever had something from your teenage years that you wanted, that you loved, that you got rid of, and you regretted it, and then wanted to find it again? Well, it happened to me. Right now, it's always happening. But either way, I found something from my teenage years, and it's in this box. We're going to open this box, and I'm going to show you what's inside this box. Right? Now! Right now, I figured we're gonna unbox this. Although I could have done it, but yeah. So, this, we're already doing this. The fun fact, this actually came like last month and was now getting to it because it's like all the other videos and made work and everything else. But I'm sure you get the idea. It's not going to seal that board now, but at least I'm just not going to get all damaged and at least I'm going to snap bubble wrap again. <laughs> Believe it or don't, it's another clock right here. And yes, this was one same with my team. So let's show it off. Well, here it is out of the box. It is, in fact, focus. Thank you. Yeah, it's a GE, if you didn't already know that. Night Jammer AM FM clock radio. Model number 7-4607BKA. Four watts input, made in Malaysia. And this day code, I am honestly not sure how to decipher it. I'm sure somebody will you know. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the 37th week of 1988 or the 28th week of 1987. I don't know. Because I can never f decipher these day codes properly. So, yeah. So, yeah. I got an interesting story about this. I'll explain later. But also, this was probably about the... Um, time when uh, General Electric was starting to start badging their stuff as GE because the only time you see the term General Electric is down here at the label plate. So yeah. And it was about maybe 89 or 90 when they pretty much stopped badging them as General Electrics and just GE. Yeah. So let's plug this up and I'll give you a brief demo. Well, here it is all plugged up. The time is off. I mean, I actually went a little bit too far, but that's okay. And um, I got an interesting story about this. I mean, I remember when these came out in like for 1987, 1988, and I forget what it was, but um, I think they made a point where it's like, this isn't your parents' clock radio, have your own clock radio because it's so cool and it's new and hip for the 80s, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there was this black one, and there was a white one called the Night Nut, called the P Jammer, excuse me. And I know I saw one on the Radio Shack catalog, I forget what it was badged as. I mean, I know it was realistic, but I didn't know what they were calling it, so all that stuff. And what made me want it even more, because it had the little earphones, bed buds. I don't, the original ones have probably long since been gone. Lost in the sands of time or whatever, but at least I still got the wheel, so that's good. Not that I was going to use it or anything. And can have it in stereo, so or at least dual monophonic, if that is even possible. But yeah, <clears throat> when I saw the commercial for this, and it's like, I forget what I was watching. Maybe it was Double Dare, maybe it was You Can't Do That on Television, I don't know. It was on Nickelodeon, so... And I'm sure we all know that Nickelodeon back in the day was an awesome channel, and now it's pretty much the SpongeBob channel. But I'm just straight off the subject again. But yeah, I kind of wanted this, and uh, my birthday was coming up. I mean, hell, 
I was turning 12 in 1988, and September 4th, in case anybody wants to know. But yeah, when it's like uh, when to choose a clock radio, because that's what I wanted, I went for this one. Although I probably could have gotten the one, I think it was a Sharp or something, but I didn't want that one. I wanted this one. It was a little bit pricey, but it was what I wanted. So yeah, I loved it, I enjoyed it, and it was with me, and all that stuff. Then pretty much probably about maybe 91, 92 or something, I got bored with it, and I threw it in the donation bin, or got thrown out, I honestly can't remember. But then, it's like, um, it never really occurred to me until I was on eBay a couple months back, looking at old clock radios, hence these two right here, and I saw this, and I'm thinking... I could probably use one, although most of the ones I saw were the P-Jammers. I wanted the Night Jammer. And then when I saw this, it's like, grab it now, because I'm probably never going to find one again. Either way, it does have some cosmetic issues. I mean, it's worn out right here, where it says uh, radio off, music wake, alarm wake, and all that. And you can barely make out, but the red around where it says sleep, is also slightly worn, but those are minor cosmetics. As long as it works um, electronically, I'm fine. So, turn it on and see what we got. Bracket challenge. Log on to the game. Tuner is acceptable. A little Sunday jazz, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to bother with the alarm and functions and stuff. Well, maybe I could. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be too long, and I really don't feel like fighting with it right now. So, yeah. Alright, I guess this is going to conclude this video of this um, circa 1987-1988 General Electric Night Jammer AM FM Clock Radio Model 7-4607VKA. Did I really need it? Well, to be honest, maybe I'm regressing a little bit. I mean, kind of like wanting something that I've had for my, for my youth, and now it's like, maybe I'm trying to, um, I don't want to let go right now. I mean, because right now I'm staring at 40, and it's like, I've got to have to, be this, I don't know, I'm rambling on again. I'll probably do that later. But, yeah. Now, if only I can find my first stereo, then maybe things will be complete. But, maybe it won't be. I don't know. I don't care. I just wanted this because it kind of was symbolized the fact that I was 12 going on 13. Well, 11, but either way, it was my teenage years and and I regretted getting rid of it. And now that I have it again, it's like it may get used, it may not. I don't know. But that's up to me to decide. But yeah, until next time, wherever it is, you must be thankful. The comment box is open.